And I know this is just a reminder on how important it is to protect yourself and your loved ones from mosquito bites. Joining me now is Macomb County Health Officer Bill Rodella. And, sir, let me ask you most importantly, how is the person uh, from Macomb County doing who is infected with West Nile? Well, we understand the individual was hospitalized for a brief period. Uh, has been discharged and from all reports is doing okay. And, and talk about, we understand uh, again the state of Michigan is reporting uh, people infected with West Nile in three counties, obviously Monroe here, Ottawa, and in, uh, uh, excuse me, and uh, Macomb. Uh, how can people protect themselves? Well, the main thing is to, you know, not get bit by a mosquito. That's how, how you get the virus. So uh, take the precautions. If you are outdoors, you know, put insect repellent on, especially mm -hmm. if it has DEET, which is very important, or right. something that will have long lasting uh, impact. Uh, get rid of standing water in your yard. I know we've had a lot of rain, but you know, we don't want to collect the water because the mosquito can collect in uh, bird baths and, and pet uh, dishes and things like that. So get rid of the water. Uh, you know, if you have to wear, if you're outdoors a lot, wear long sleeves, pants, uh, long pants, mm -hmm. uh, socks. Again, the weather permitting to, to wear those. Uh, and of course, make sure you have uh, screens. You don't want to get the mosquitoes inside. Have screens that are effective in your home. Right. Um, and again, to take the precautions because the virus is here in southeast Michigan. And just real quick, what are some of the symptoms pe people should be um, aware of? We know that uh, they may not experience any symptoms for 3 to 15 days after infection, but what sort of symptoms are there? Well, again, most people aren't going to have symptoms from the, from the virus, okay. but again, in, in, in certain individuals, you're going to see like flu like symptoms, fatigue, a severe headache. Uh, body ache, joint, joint pain. But again, the virus can lead to other uh, illnesses too. We can see sometimes in very few people, but encephalitis, meningitis, which causes a, a brain inflammation, and those can be very serious and can cause death. So we want to take this very seriously and let, again, people enjoy the outdoors, yeah. but take the right precautions. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bill Rodella from the Macomb County Health Department. I want to hang tight for one second. I want to get some more information from you. But again, we want to let people know that uh, West Nile cases have been detected here in Macomb, Ottawa, and in Monroe counties. Protect yourself. Check around your properties. Make sure you get rid of that standing water and use mosquito repellent that includes DEET. Back to you.